And below the 3.7 inch touchscreen, we have access to um, a one inch touch strip, which is produced by HTC. It's called the Zoom Bar. And it's interesting, it actually extends this 3.7 inch screen actually really into 3.8 inches. And it really just does, um, it comes into existence when you're in photos or in the web browser and it zooms in or zooms out because this device is like a, a pinch to zoom. The Zoom Bar actually gets a much better. Um, much better usage than really going on screen and tapping the plus sign or for the magnification and or minus sign for zooming out. So it does a great job there. Um, this is part two of the HTC Tilt 2 or HTC um, Titan 2 review, so be sure to check out number one if you haven't done so. So going on into the actual hardware of the design of the phone, we um, also are greeted to a slide out QWERTY keyboard, which is, uh, it slides out from the left hand edge of the device, and it's spring loaded, and it's assisted, and it springs out quite well. The keyboard is backlit, and it's a, uh, it's a five row QWERTY keyboard, and uh, perhaps the biggest reason to purchase this phone is for its keyboard. Not only is this great for a business professional who wants to type things, uh, type out quick emails, or quick Word documents on the go, it's one of the best QWERTY keyboards, uh, period, on any um, current Windows mobile handset. It's it's so spacious, and HTC did such a great job. The buttons are really risen above the uh, surface of the actual interior. Um, the keys are just really large. No matter if you have the biggest hands in the world, this keyboard will be fine for you. Um, typing is just such an ease, and um, all the keys are just so large, and they are so, uh, so differentiated from the other buttons. It's going to be a great usage um, and a great a very fun thing indeed to type on this whenever you're going to use the keyboard. Now you also are provided with a virtual keyboard that HTC has provided out the box from um, they changed it and tweaked it from Windows Mobile's keyboard. It's also a pretty good keyboard and it has an accelerometer to assist uh, when you're rotating it. We'll explain that in a second. So the keyboard is also uh, customized by AT&T because we've seen this version, as I said, for six times already in the U.S. We have a blue accent for AT&T's logo and emblem. We have a function key that's blue and a number of keypad that's differentiated by blue, so you can call people like that if you want to. Now this is called the Tilt 2, of course, because the screen actually tilts upwards and to form a nice little... Um, design element there. And the tilt is actually really cool because it's great for watching videos, great for web browsing. It's a great experience overall and really gets rid of the usage of um, homemade uh, stands um, because, you know, some people like to have little stands just to put their phone up for watching videos and stuff. It gets rid of these or it gets rid of store purchase stands. Um, and just in, in general, it's just great to watch something and to have be able to stand on a tabletop. And in this aspect, it really reminds us of, of course, the uh, some Nokia handsets and, of course, some past HTC handsets like the Tilt, and it does a great job of doing that. So when we're in the Tilt mode, the screen automatically rotates, and we have a TouchFlow 3D interface directly uh, rotated in uh, 190 degrees from the um, vertical view. And uh, in this view, basically all the things are still accessible, and they're basically in the same view, and from the home screen, it kind of looks like an alarm clock, which is pretty cool, and we have access to this giant alarm, which is one of the things that makes HTC phones really famous, is their giant alarm clocks. Um, yes, the flip alarm clock. Um, in addition, on the left-hand side, we do have access to a volume rocker and a push-to-talk button. This is also push-to-talk walkie-talkie enabled, so when you want to talk with other AT&T handsets, that is an option you can go with. On the bottom is your proprietary, semi-proprietary uh, mini mini USB is uh, can be used to charge in, but uh, a, st a special HTC mini USB cable has to be used to transfer data. You have a stylus port, and on the top is your on/off button. On the back, we have access to a 3.2 megapixel camera. This is um, this camera is pretty good. It's pretty decent for taking shots. It looks pretty cool on the back because it has this metal strip and metal banding surrounding the plastic. The plastic does make this device feel really grippy, and um, it's not a cheap plastic. It feels very weighty in the hand, which is cool. The micro SD card slot is located behind the battery, and so is the SIM card slot. There's also a second button behind the camera slot, you'll notice. This is called the microphone or the speaker button. What this access does is that when you're calling somebody from the home screen, if you want to press this button, it turns the device into speakerphone mode, and it uses the speakers on the back of this handset. It's got a great speaker system built in right in here, integrated. It also has a sensor where if you place the phone face down onto a tabletop, it automatically uses the speakerphone. And you can also use conference mode uh, this way. 
Now, it's great for business professionals or for anybody looking for advanced features of smartphones because um, what conference mode allows you to do is to call multiple people at the same time and talk to them. And it's great because you can just place a handset face down and you're talking automatically. What's great is that the reception of this handset uh, is very strong and the call quality is very good as well. Now, while the battery life might be on the shorter side, especially with the 3.7-inch very uh, high-resolution 800 by 480 resolution touchscreen LCD, it's really bright um, and it's very vibrant. All the colors are very saturated, and um, as you might expect from such a powerful handset, um, battery life is not going to be one of its fortes. It's not going to last you a week, but it does definitely last you for two to three days of usage. Um, and standby mode is one of its strengths. Um, it can actually stand by for a week or two weeks, and it'll, it'll still be running. And in the background, you power it up. Battery life is still almost full, and that's one of the better, better benefits of this device. Below the zoom bar, we'll also have access to a talk and end key and a Windows key, which takes you into the standard Windows Mobile 6.5 uh, interface instead of the proprietary TouchFlow 3D interface, which is a lot more touch, um, which is a lot better um, than the standard, in my opinion. But uh, you do have access to this skin if you want to just access your basic features um, like Opera, like Office Mobile, um, presentations, you have albums, and you have Internet Explorer, AT&T Navigator if you want to do that. TouchWell 3D also takes you on various uh, navigations and various tweaks. One of them is um, the Call Manager. Call Manager is directly accessed on the top of the bar. You can actually notice if you're connected to Wi-Fi or connected to your phone. Just by pressing the top here it will bring you to the notifications drawer. And uh, it tells you if you're connected to your battery, your notifications, kind of like Android, you can dismiss these, you can close it, you can just drag it up. Um, so it's cool, you can just drag this down and you'll have access to all your notifications. Okay, taking a look at um, other aspects that makes this device special. Of course, we've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth, we've got GPS, and we have uh, 3G all built into this handset for uh, instant connectivity. Screen is pretty good in outdoors. Um, it does get a little glarish because this device is so shiny, so um, that's another thing to note. If you want to do a lot of reading outdoors, it might not be the best for you. Um, taking a look at the program store, they are. Uh, this is located in a, in a uh, very cool, very easy to read uh, grid-like icon consisting of uh, three um, in each row, and you can add these. You can easy, easily add them from the bottom or remove them. I've just installed a few like Google Maps, um, MySpace. Um, I also installed the Marketplace, Windows Marketplace on here, so I can install quick apps whenever I want to visit the, memo, uh, the Marketplace to get new applications. also have YouTube on the front. There's also a weather app, um, a photo app, a people app, a calendar app, there's a music app, um, mail app settings, and internet, AT&T, and stocks. Um, stocks can just basically provide you with updates on your gains or your losses. AT&T app all your AT&T specials, internet app, your uh, favorites, you can launch the web browser. This is launching the standard, unfortunately, Internet Explorer, which is much updated from uh, previous versions of Windows Mobile. Still not as good. It's still a bit sluggish, but this device, it's, it does a great job because it's a great screen. It's really large and everything. Um, so viewing things is pretty much of a, of a joy on this device. Sometimes, though, the processor is it's going to be combined with the fact that the the uh, Internet Explorer um, itself is not fast. It might get a little bit sluggish sometimes if you have too much bookmarks open. Um, the processor is is definitely less than one gigahertz. It's it's around um, 600 uh, megahertz or 800 megahertz, and um, so you're going to expect speeds to be in that area and department as well. Of course, that's why um, we have Opera Mobile, and Opera Mobile is going to render speeds pages like like that. It's going to be that fast. Um, and it's just going to be a great experience to see, see pages in that aspect. And we're still loading. So pretty much that it. That's the um, HTC Touch Pro 2. It's an excellent handset it's for business professionals and for entertainment alike who want to watch video, want to browse the web in really fast speeds, having everything in connectivity from being GPS to typing fast to watching videos on YouTube. Again, browsing the web in a very fast um, speed, taking pictures, uh, Pretty good camera on here, and definitely speakerphone, and just calling people in general. It's a great handset. It's on AT&T. The AT&T version is out now for $199. You can also check out the other versions on other air carriers, even unlocked ones here in the U.S. Thanks for watching here at osmvtxreviews.com.